Hello students. Today through this video we will discuss about the U and O which is the international organization established after the failure of League of the Nation which was established after the World War II. The UNO was established to maintain world peace after the World War II. Now through this video I will explain to, to you all about the UN as to how it was its principal organ and specialized agency. The power and function of the principal organ and specialized agency etc. To begin with the UNO, the UNO which was assigned on 26th June 1945 and with the establishment of UNO charter the UNO came into existence on 24th October 1945. The original or the founding member of the countries were committed to maintain international peace and cooperation. The membership of the UNO were 193 countries and these were the members state. The headquarter of the UNO is at New York. The, the secretary general is Antonio Guterres. All these states that agreed accept obligation of the UN Charter and international treaty that which sets out basic principles of the UNO where members are the members of the UNO. Now how the how this UNO works according to UN Charter UNO has four objectives or four principles. Number one to maintain international peace and security. Number two to develop friendly relation among nation. Number three to cooperate in solving international problem and to promote to respect for human rights. Also to become the center for harmonizing the action of the nation. Remember students the UNO does not make laws not it is a work government. All its members state have a voice on a vote. The main purpose of the UNO is to remove all threats of world peace. It works democratically. Now we shall discuss about the main organ of the United Nations
or organization there are six main or the principles organs of the uno number 1 the general assembly number 2 security council number 3 the economic and social council number 4 trusteeship council number 5 secretariat and number 6 international court of justice now here with regards the to the main organs i will deal other i will tell you the organs in details to give begin with the general assembly in this video first of all we will discuss to the general assembly the world parliament or the legislature legislative organ of the uno it is composed of all the member state that is 193 and each member state since five representative and each member state has one vote at discuss related peace and security admissions of new members budget matters election of the non permanent members of the security council council decision of the above issues required two third majority vote it also discuss other issue related to world progress and the decision of these are the issue required simple majority vote now about the power and function of the general assembly the general assembly admits new members to the un on the recommendations of the security council it appoints secretary general of the uno upon the recommendation of security council it elect the 10 non permanent members of the security council it passes the annual budget of the uno it makes recommendation to the security the council whenever it sees that the peace of the world is in danger due to one or more states it promotes international political cooperation develops international law human right etc the general assembly can't take any decision about what actions should be taken in case of conflict between different countries the decision which are crucial are taken by the execu executive organ of the uno that is the security council the security council it is the exec executive body of the uno it consists of the two types of members which is permanent and non permanent members 15 members are there and you know that five members are permanent and 10 are non permanent students five permanent members are china uk usa france and russia the 10 non permanent members are elected by the general assembly for only 2 years on regional basis a representative of each member state must be present at all times of the uno headquarters there are 
बेल्जियम कॉन्गो घाना इंडोनेशिया इटली पनामा पेरू कटर स्लोवाकिया साउथ अफ्रीका ईच मेंबर्स हैज वन वोट रिट्राइंग Retiring members is eligible for immediate re-election. Permanent members have the veto power, which is the negative vote against any proposal or resolution passed by any of the five members. That is, even if the may other four members agree. the decision or proposal can't be carried out if any one members are disagreed and gives a negative vote so the decision on pro procedure must can be made by a formative vote by nine members but decision of all other matter shall be made by and affirmative vote by of nine members and five vote all the of the permanent members which means security council is powerless by the exercise of veto power by any one of the five permanent members power and the function of the security council the security council tries to bring peaceful settlement of dispute it maintain international peace and security it imposes economic sanction and trade in a nation that does not act according to direction of security council it can impose arm embargo it order military action against a state which disturbs security of the nation it recommend the general assembly and appointment of secretary general next we came to international court of justice so our next topic is international court of justice what is international court of justice it is a main judicial organ of the u n o here by united nation nation general assembly and the security council judges can be re-elected after the expiry of of the term one third of judges just retired every 3 years power and function of the international court of justice it gives advisory and legal opinion to any organ of the uno on request but it is not binding on the un un organ it decides legal matter between states on request it clarify question of international law it interpret the un chart now children you must be very clear that the main or the principal organ of the u and o then there are some specialized agency of the u and o the specialized agency are legal legal dependent a legally independent international organization with their 
own roots. Memberships, organ and financial resources, they are brought into relationship with the UNO through negotiated agreement. Specialized agency are linked to the UNO but remain atonements that is independent. Some of specialized agency are WHO, UNESCO, UNESCO, which is called UNESCO, UNICEF, then World Bank, ILO, UNDP, etc. Trusteeship Council. This organ safeguards the interest of inhabitants of territories which are not yet fully self-governing and which may be placed there under by individual agreement. The council was also to take steps to help them attain self-government by 1994 all trust territories had attained self-government the council will now meet only if required to do so next topic is fact the economic and social council has 54 members state which are elected by the united nation general assembly for Overlapping three years terms. Seats on the council are based on geographical representations with four, 14 allocated to African state, 11 to Asia state, 6 to Eastern European state, 10 to Latin American and, and Caribbean state and 13 to Western European state and others. The Economic and Social Council The Economic and Social Council ECOSO take care of the social, cultural and economic activity of the UN. ECOSOC has 54 members the General Assembly elected 18 members for a term of 3 years only. Decisions are taken by the majority vote for those present and voting. Economic and Social Council work for a economic and social welfare of the people throughout the world and it's primarily Concerned with women, children rights, health improvement in standard of living all over the world. The specialized agency of the UN like WHO and UNICEF work under its supervision. The work of Economic and Social Council is supervised by the General Assembly. Now the next topic is your India's support to the UN. You know India has been one of the founder members of the UN. In 1953 Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit became the first woman president of the United Nations General Assembly. Here some important points are given. Number one. India has supported the freedom struggles in other countries like Indonesia, Bangladesh and Malaysia are example in this respect. Number two, India sent medical mission to Korea in 1950 and to the Gulf during the war of 1991. Third one is India had been part of the UN peacekeeping force in Palestine, 
Cambodia and Congo. Fourth one, India has played an important role in the disarmament effort of the UN. Her policy of non-alignment is significant in this respect. Next one is India has strongly opposed the apartheid regime of South Africa. And the last one is India along with other nations voted in favor of the resolution against Sri Lankan war crimes against Tamils. So today your chapter is over and you have to understand and read your chapter very carefully. Thank you.